Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Cancer's weekly guidance message for October 10th through October 16th. In this message, Cancer, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Cancer, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit. What do my Cancerian friends need to know? is the advice we'll pull it over at the end cancer the energy that's coming out here is one of betrayal okay i feel like you've recently gone through a situation with a particular person in your life now this is definitely a emotionally involved person so whether this is a partner like a lover or this is a close friend or a family member there's definitely an energy of loss, energy of betrayal, energy of feeling betrayed. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. The energy surrounding you, Cancer, is the Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Queen of Cups. So this is a situation that you've tried over and over again to make work, and nothing's worked. I feel like it's kind of a never-ending battle with this person. There's always something wrong. The challenge here, Cancer, is you really want this to work. So whether this is a sibling, it could be like a close friend. It could be like a lover, somebody who you truly uh, have an emotion, feel like you have an emotional connection with. But I feel like you're really trying to make this work. Okay, you're trying, you're planning, you're being strategic. Everything that you possibly can and nothing is working here. Okay. The reason being is your person is trying to control the outcome. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. I feel like there's more than one person involved in the situation. So if you felt like that was the case and you didn't have confirmation cancer, you're most likely right. So let's clarify for you guys now if you find the message is helpful or resonating please give it a thumbs up also guys if you want a personal reading the information is all linked below in the description box whether this is you cancer whether this is your person somebody is trying to control the outcome here and it's not working in this person's favor now i do feel here cancer this may be you and maybe this is like not directly trying to manipulate but maybe a passive aggressive type of an approach i feel honestly here cancer you've come to a point with this person where you're no longer happy and there's a need to kind of come to terms with that okay get clear on what you envision the outcome being with or without this person so what would you do if this person wasn't around right what type of lifestyle would you lead what type of decisions would you make where do you see yourself headed i do feel there's a lot of illusions there's a lot of secrets surrounding this particular person and you need to make a decision in regards to what you're going to do here with your stability and happiness in mind okay for a lot of you that's going to involve walking away from the situation that's no longer serving you. So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. 
for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I do feel like there is an energy of options. And whether this is you, Cancer, or whether this is your person, there's multiple options that have either transpired in the past or are currently involved in. The Ten of Staffs, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So there is an energy of wanting to heal, wanting to move things forward, wanting to work through these challenges together, but there's also of not on the same page, not being open and honest with one another, especially the person that's involved with multiple people. And what I see here, Cancer, coming out is a need to take time with yourself to get clear within yourself on what your next move should be. Not, and again, not worrying about any other person, place, or thing, especially if they aren't taking your best interest at heart. I do feel, Cancer, you may find yourself moving forward from this situation here soon because I don't feel like this person is going to make a decision. It's going to still be in this up in, air, up in the air energy if you don't decide. Your four truths message coming out, Cancer. Be impeccable with your word. Become the white magician. All the magic you possess is based on your word, and you can cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word, or you can release someone from a spell. Become the white magician. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Cancer... I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. The main thing that I get is there's a decision that needs to be made in regards to a person who's really hurt you. And some of you that may include taking a step back, putting some distance between you and them. But it's really up to you trusting your intuition and that is going to be key. So Cancer, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.